Hi, aspiring freelancer. How does putting your service in front of 4.2 million potential buyers from all over the world sound like to you? If that piques your interest, then you might want to consider signing up and setting up your profile on Fiverr. Fiverr is an online platform where freelancers like you can post and showcase their skills to millions of potential buyers from all across the globe. Freelancers create gigs, as they call them on the platform, and explain their solutions, and people or companies in need of services can search on the platform to find the right person or freelancers for their particular task. Currently, Fiverr has 4.2 million active buyers and it doesn't cost a thing for you or any other freelancer to post on the platform. Listings on Fiverr are diverse, ranging from copywriting, creating websites, making business cards or t-shirt design, accounting and bookkeeping, virtual assistance, resume writing, social media management, content creation, social media graphics, digital marketing, and many, many more. In this video, I will walk you through how to sign up for Fiverr as a freelancer or seller. So let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to do is go to fiverr.com, Fiverr with two R's. And then you're going to click join. So it will prompt you to join with Google or continue with email. This is if you already have an account. So I'm going to continue with email. I'm going to put my Gmail here and the password. It will ask you to choose a username. So I'm going to select a new username and then create my account. It will send you a verification code in your email and you will have to copy and paste that code in here. So there I have officially signed up. The next couple of things are defining who you are. He also going to ask what brings you to Fiverr. So I am selling freelance services. Please note that even though you are primarily a seller, you can still buy services. So next is what type of freelancer are you? Side hustle, solo freelancer, agency, employee, agency, owner. I'm going to select solo freelancer. Feel free to select any as applies to you. If you're part of a bigger organization, you can go ahead with agency, employee, and if you own an agency, you can sign up as an agency owner. And then what's your freelance same experience just getting started freelancing online freelancing offline both online and offline so i'm going to go ahead and select both online and offline freelancing these are the next steps one is complete your seller profile create your first gig publish it and start selling next is you're going to complete your seller profile ready to start selling on fiverr here's a breakdown instead continue take your time and read through what makes a successful Fiverr profile. You're going to want to read each of these keenly and you also follow their directions so, so that you make the best out of your Fiverr experience. After reading them, click continue. Now let's talk about the things you want to steer clear of. So these are the things that you want to steer clear of. So I'm going to click continue, fill in your details, your name, display name, your profile picture, the description, and your languages. I'm going to put in my company name, which is ABC Transcription. A, B, C, T. And then you're going to want to upload the profile picture. Make sure it's a good headshot that is clear. And make sure it is warm, welcoming, preferably great if you're smiling with a good background. Not so noisy background, just clean background and you're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and upload my profile picture. There you go. It could definitely be better. It could cover the whole page, but just for the illustration, I'm going to go ahead with that. Next is you're going to put in your description, work experience, core projects you've completed and your area of expertise. Lastly is languages. Primarily, my language is English. I'm going to say native or bilingual. Add new, Luganda happens to be there. So I'm going to say fluent for me, that's it. And then continue. Professional information, your occupation. I'm going to go ahead and select writing and translation. But if you're into video editing, there you have it. Musical audio, there you have it. If for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go with transcription and go with writing and translation. Next is you're going to have to select the services two to five of your best skills in writing and translation. Transcription, uh, translation, that is Luganda translation or, or maybe Runyankolo translation. Script writing, yeah, and a bit, and then podcast writing, proofreading and editing, that's it. And then next is skills. You type in experience level expert. Once you get another skill, which is fast typing, expert English typing. I think that's the last typing I'm going to 
add and then I'm going to go with proofreading, writing, just writing, expert, maybe it expert, let's call it expert. And then I'm, maybe I'm going to add uh, graphic design or uh, intermediate and then maybe I'm going to add video editing as well. Video editing, uh, intermediate. I just saw YouTube video editing, so I'm going to do that as the last one. And then education, college, university. These are totally optional. You don't have to fill in these. And then certification. If you have any certifications, uh, make sure you read them here. Transcription and edit. Yeah, I want to say 2020. Add any other syntax training, English, grammar, and punctuation. And the year is going to be uh, 2019, I think. If you have a personal website, be sure to add it. I'm going to select my website. And yeah, then continue. Next is security. So here they will ask you for the email and phone number. Yep, they will offer you something like this. And this is basically to kickstart your business or your freelance career on Fiverr. For now, I'm just going to end it there. And that's it for creating your account and setting up your profile on Fiverr. In my next video, I'm going to talk about how to create your gig or service package. Thank you for watching until the end. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell icon. Until next time.